On a cold evening night, the great Odysseus tells his great 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 grandchildren of his heroic tales. What will it be this time, children? Do one about a hero. Mmm, a hero, you say? Well, I happen to know a thing or two about telling stories about a hero. Because you see, I was considered a hero back in my home nine years ago. Coming back from this very large war called the Trojan War. As I was traveling back across a large sea, I came across large islands that contained scary and <coughs> mystical creatures. What monsters did you fight? Monsters? What type? Well, I fought many, but one of them that sticks out of my head the most was this very large creature. He was like a man. He had an eyeball right here in his head. And he was a creature known as Cyclops. Odysseus took his crew of two and headed to the island of the Cyclops. Men, I see the island. It's just over there. Yes, I see the Cyclops' this island. So let's row faster to get there in time. Go, row faster. We'll be able to get there to see the Cyclops. What? You stabbed him with the branch? Well, you see, I stabbed him with the... Olive branch. What? You can't stab him with olives. No, it's an olive branch. All right, children, children. I stabbed him with an olive branch, and... After blinding the Cyclops, Odysseus escaped with his life and continued to sail on. But, Grandpa, what other monsters did you fight? Sea monster, who was very large and had many heads. And his name was Scylla. Grandpa, mm. after that monster, what'd you do next? Odysseus had decided to return to his home and family back in Ithaca. Odysseus had come back a true hero. Odysseus. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Odysseus. <laughs> <laughs>